We don't we care about it, but we don't care about it at the same time because that's that's part of our job is just to open them holes for him, you know, keep him going every game. I'm sure you've been asked this, Jordan, but what's the Brett called you like the best six man in football or basketball? What what's the mindset it takes to do that job effectively? Um, it, it takes a little adjustment because you know you obviously not you're not fully starting like you're not taking 100 reps a game, but. It's when you call the fun, just go out there and do your job. And I think Coach B has kind of implemented that around the whole team. It's just whenever your number's called, just to be ready to go out there. And I think that's really helped me in my mind frame from last year going into this season, kind of just staying ready whenever that moment comes. Is it that easier now than it would have been, like, say, the Wyoming game, the first game where you kind of had to do it, or was it easy even in that game? Uh, the first game was pretty nervous for me because obviously it was my first right. game plan since 2020, really. And just trying to look. I was looking at my ankle all the time, but everything was good. But after each game, it's kind of the confidence it just keeps going up for me. And uh, Coach Miller and I, we talk almost daily, so it's a good thing just to keep my head in the right space every week. How have you felt Coach Lenny's new system, new offense this year has really helped you guys in line? Has it helped you guys in the line? And what has that transition been? Uh, 100%, yeah, compared to last year where we were more of a slower offense, holding every play. but. It's kind of an adjustment for the, the big guys up front because we're running a lot of no huddle. We just have to keep the mindset. Every play in practice, we have to keep it moving fast tempo so we can have the condition to go into a game and run 100 plus plays. Maybe a six man rotation doesn't always work you know, just from time to time. Like, Why do you think it works for you guys? Uh, I think so because we've been doing it since fall camp and spring ball, honestly. Just rotating you know, the top six guys, different positions, trying to figure out what that's just the best. And I think that spring ball really helped us a lot going into fall camp to where we were implementing our offense more against our defense. And then going into game week, everything finally gelled together. And then through these past, you know, eight weeks, everything's been great so far. You guys as a line really do look like you're coming together. Was it a matter? I mean, there's so many new faces or new guys in new positions. Did you think it was a matter of time? Like, it's going to take us a couple games um, to get this going? See, I kind of had that feeling, and uh, Coach Miller and I talked about that before the first game. You know, we just wanted to see where we were at after this one. And obviously, the Indiana game, we're pro and play, and I had to start that game. You know, it kind of showed that we could mesh together. With everybody playing different positions and still have a pretty solid game going forward. I think a lot about your own journey and I know you probably had eyes on on one of those top you know, starting five yeah. spots like how did you work through that because I'm assuming maybe the, it could have derailed some guys yeah. but why didn't it with you and how did you get through um, that? Honestly I just put it up to God you know I pray about it I pray every day so that's a big thing for me is just trying to stay the course you know I've been doing it for five years so why would, why would it stop now you know and Coach Miller told me that no matter what I was going to play so I wasn't really worried about you know oh I'm not starting I'm not going to play that really wasn't the case for me so kind of kept me in the right head space the whole time. How does that relationship with you and Bart I'm assuming it got pretty strong because he had a similar injury yeah. I think to you like how has that kind of helped adjust to what this is and the, the trust between yeah. him that you can go in there and do that and you that you're going to get that chance. Um, I think it's really big, you know, since Coach Miller's been here, when we first came here in the spring, it was kind of rocky because I was still, you know, trying to get adjusted to a new coach. He has a different coaching style than my previous two coaches. And so it was kind of like a, a, I don't know, like a rough phase, the first spring ball. But after that, going into the summer in camp, and especially with the injury, I just went to him more, you know, just trying to pull out some wisdom for myself, for the team and the O-line especially. And then going into this season, especially in the summer, and uh, every day I just go in and talk to him just to see, you know, where my head is and uh, what he's thinking about the game plan and stuff. So it's been pretty big. How do you just to stay, do you've had a couple, like, I think, stabilizing drives when you've gone in? Like, how do you keep that where, like, maybe it was three or four series that you weren't in, but then you've got to come in and, and play well in that fifth one, for instance. Like, how do you keep that mindset? Where you can do that? Um, honestly, I couldn't answer that. I don't really know. I don't know how I do it myself. <laughs> I just try to, you know, stay locked in the whole time. But it's obviously, it's a task trying to do that. You know, you're not playing for so many series. Yeah. And you go back in, you're trying to get the groove back. But, you know, it's nothing really, like, for me to just go out there and do it. Could you be a basketball six-man, too, like Coach said? Uh, okay, yeah, I did it in high school, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> offensive line, you guys had three guys from, like,